everyone, it's Sadira, and we are definitely starting this out a little bit different, not only because of how we're starting the video out, but we also learned that we did not do our voice microphone yeah, correctly. Darn it. So we're doing a voiceover again. If you watched yes. the last video, we talked about that just a little bit. We're going to try harder, I promise. Yes. But it, Steffi is putting down some beds. If you look, as we're turning the directions, we are over by the volcano on the Fordur map, and we're trying to tame a dung beetle. Yes, we need a dung beetle for fertilizer so we can start our garden. But when we came over here to find the dung beetles, we found lots of danger. So we were yep. like, there you go. I turned on my spyglass, and you can see there's a lot of danger. There's yes. mantises and arthropleura and snakes, snakes spiders, everything. And we're trying to figure out, it's taken us a little bit of time to figure out exactly the right thing to do because we, we aren't sure of the mantises. Right. We were, we were worried that the mantis were going to knock us off our pteranodons. Yeah, we had never fought around them on pteranodons before, so we weren't sure. And then we talked about it and talked about it and talked about it and decided to just go for it. And yeah. Yeah. So, but we were also a little bit nervous because we are by the Wyvern Trench. Mm -hmm. We're right by the Wyvern so Trench. So we're being very Order. watchful. So we decided to go for it and look at the damage these things do. Oh my gosh, we're going to love this server. We're playing on the um, Brainless Gaming Community server. All the information will be down below. And it is a super fun server to play on. Oh my gosh, it we really are having is. a blast. She has, the admin has the settings so good that uh, there's not really too much. We're still scared, though. I don't know. Yeah. We're well, pretty scared. You have to realize that we have the settings we do, but the other dinos have the set have the same settings. Yeah, so. you can see the yellow numbers. They're having quite a bit of damage, too. So we wouldn't want to be caught off of these birds, for sure. Oh, yeah, my gosh. Definitely. Yeah, so we, we cleared out the danger, and we, we there were two dung beetles. A, a lower level and then we found a level 80 so we decided to tame the 80 I get off and I'm about to tame it and Steffi I think sees this wyvern a fire wyvern yeah a fire wyvern right above us and we about we about had a oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> we had no idea what it was, it was a 152 <laughs> fire wyvern and um we just didn't know what to we do. Didn't, we didn't know. We didn't know if our birds could take it. We didn't want it to follow us, mm -hmm. and we were so worried because we knew if we did kill it, it would bring other wyverns. Yeah. So we decided to hurry up, get it, get the beetle, put it in a soul ball, and take off and get, get out of there. Out and of then, there. But Steffi, remember, I remember the beds. So <laughs> we had to pick up our beds. So I was going to watch and monitor the wyvern. And I go over and I pick up uh, the beds yeah. and we were so ready to be out of there and we were trying so hard not to aggro that thing. Yeah. So that's when Steffi, right there is where Steffi said, oh my gosh, I gotta go get the beds. And I was like, okay, I'll watch and pay attention to the wyvern while you do that. And it was like, we were like, oh man. So I'm real curious what would happen. I don't wanna lose our pteranodons no, but I would but be, be we, we kept experiment. going back and forth. Should we go attack it? Should we? Yeah. And look how close it's getting. Oh my gosh, I'm amazed it didn't aggro on us. I, am I really too. am. And uh, so we we saw it land too. That was kind of weird. And then we said, "Okay, got the beds. Let's get out of here." <laughs> yep. Let's go. <laughs> and then I decided I needed to show you guys where the volcano is on the Fordur map. It's down there in that far right-hand corner. That's where the volcano is. That's where we were to get the dung beetles. Yeah. And then we were flying home and Stevie said, Oh my gosh, here's a baby turtle. <laughs> it was so cute. I had to stop. And so we do have babies, a baby mod on our yeah. server, I guess. We didn't even know. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't know there was. We need to find out what mod that is. Because yeah. so, all the babies we're seeing, we started seeing baby trikes. Mm -hmm. Baby Stegos, Raptors. and now a baby turtle. Isn't it cute? So we had to admire we this had to baby admire. turtle. <laughs> it's so cute. And it has white toenails. It's just the cutest. And then we decided we needed some chickens for our barn. We had some earlier, and if you watched one of the ep previous episodes, we lost our chickens. 
we lost everything actually. Yeah. But and we decided we needed new chickens, so we found this one, and we don't know why he's decided yeah, to we, walk away. We also <laughs> like the roosters because they crow in the morning. Yes, it's, it's really a, cool. It is the neatest thing that when it's morning on the on the map, when it's actually the morning hour. You'll hear the rooster crow. Yeah, it's really and, neat. Uh, then we decided we needed two chick female chickens mm -hmm. that will lay eggs because we're making a chicken coop. Yep. And we found this one right close by, and thought it was just so unique with the purple and orangey reddish colors. And we came to that one. Mm -hmm. And, and we used male berries mm -hmm. on the chickens. Yeah, we didn't even use uh, the immersive taming bait or kibble. We just these uh -huh. mayo berries and they tame so fast. Yeah. And then we decided, well, if we're tame we're in a taming mood, let's tame some cows. Yeah, because <laughs> we need cow milk. <laughs> yes, we uh, yes, we need some milk for some of these recipes we're gonna be trying out. So we found this cow and we just thought it was a beautiful cow. Yeah. The prettiest and one we saw. One, yeah, this one we did put down the veggie bait, not berry bait, and it came in one bait. Yep. So the veggie we, bait is so much better than the berry oh, bait. Oh yeah. And we are using immersive taming. All the information is below. Yeah. So we tamed the cow. We didn't name it. I want to name it Bessie. I do too. Oh, yeah. Okay. We didn't name it at the time we were we were getting to the point of getting kind of tired. And you can see we did end up finding another cow, mm -hmm. a bull. So we have our pair of cows. Um, we In have case we, we found our other chicken, cow. the horses and the kitties. They're from the previous episode. If you want to check that mm -hmm. out. And so, boy, we're doing really good with yeah. our barn. Yeah, I'm super excited. Yeah. We just glo globbed them up together right here. Steffi's going to probably... Yeah, fix I'm going to organize them. I'm st I've just started doing the inside of the barn, and we'll show you that in the next video. Yeah. But this is the end of this video, and we do appreciate each and every one of you very, very much. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. And be sure and press that like button and subscribe and press the notification bell so you're updated on our newest videos. Yes, definitely. All right, guys. Bye. Bye.